Hello, welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Oren Marcherosian, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to post an intercompany journal uh, using uh, Excel to Sage into Sage 200 from an Excel workbook. So let's go and have a look at it. Here's the 200 system that I have available, and I've got two companies on there, one called CH Test and one called Ashton's. And what I'm interested in doing is posting an inter-company journal between the two companies. So I want to uh, have two credits hitting the Ashton's company, and I want two debits hitting the CH Test company of 11 and 66. So what the system will do is it will go and use an intercompany uh, balancing account to uh, process this particular journal for us automatically. And that's done when we set up the company. So in our configuration and company control, we have got the default nominal cost center and department codes associated with each one of those companies. So if I go uh, back into this journal and just connect to the system, there it is, it's now connected. And uh, I can go to the intercompany tab and all I need to do is click one button which says Upload Journal. And what that will do is it will start uploading the intercompany journal to Sage, as you can see at the bottom. And what it will do is it will do it bit by bit. So it will go through each one of those companies and it will take the Ashton transactions and post them to the Ashton's company. It will take the uh, CH test transactions and post them to the CH test company. And it will put the balancing entries into the default nominal ledger code that we have uh, defined above. So let's go and disconnect from that and let's go and have a look at these transactions. So in the CH test company, uh, in account 1,004,100,103, there should be a line for £66. So let's go and have a look at that. So in 1,004,100,103, I think it was. Let's double check. Yes, it was. Let's go and have a look at those transactions. And if I go to the very bottom, there it is. There's the £66 on that particular account. And if I look at the other one, which is 1,100, 1, 100, there should be an £11 transaction on that. So that's 1,000, 100, 100. Let's look at the details for that. Get to the bottom there. And there you go. There's the £11. And the other side of the transaction in the other company is, uh, is in uh, the other company. So let me change companies go to the other Ashton's company and in that particular company what we should find uh, two is two other lines which is the credits for the transaction which is the minus 22 and the minus 55 sitting on the 40,040 the ZZZ and the 999 account so let's go and have a look at that uh, just uh, to cover a couple of other points as well. There are tabs in the bottom here for other types of data entry as well. So for the single company entry, you don't have the source and target company codes, company column rather. Uh, you just have the uh, normal columns and uh, the yellow columns are optional. The red columns are mandatory. Uh, we also have the ability to enter other types of transactions such as customer suppliers and so on. But in this particular case, we're going to look at uh, the intercompany journals. So let's go into Sage 200. Let's uh, minimize that. Still logging into the uh, company. There it is. So if I go to the nominal account and uh, go to the transaction inquiry, and I remember what it was called. It was, uh, yeah, it's a 40,000 ZZZ 990 account. So it's going to look 440 ZZZ 999 account. I'm just going to have a look at the details for that. Oh, sorry. Uh, ZZZ 990. Apologies. 40 ZZZ 990 and go to the very bottom, there you go. It's 55, uh, which is line two, which is that one, and uh, 22, which should be line one, and there's 22. And it's that easy to post a multi-company intercompany journal uh, with Excel to Sage doing all the intercompany balances for you without having to log in and log back out of the various different companies. So in summary, Excel to Sage is very easy to use and very cost effective. 
you can use uh, and create the Excel workbook anywhere you like and uh, you can also use a full functionality of Excel in the background in terms of user uh, defined validation lists and so on thank you for your interest in Excel to Sage uh, my name is Ara Martirosian and please feel free to uh, drop me an email on aura at excel to sage .co .uk if you have any questions and please feel free to visit our website to download uh, your trial software thank you